Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is a ball rests in a trough as shown in figure. Determine the angle of tilt theta with the horizontal so that the reaction force at B will be one third of that at A if all surfaces are perfectly smooth. In this problem given is a ball resting in a 90 degree channel that means this angle is 30 degrees, this angle is 30 degrees and the channel itself is tilted by an angle theta from the horizontal. So in this problem given is RB is one third of RA that is reaction force at B is one third of reaction force at A. So in this condition we need to find the angle theta. Let us see in the coming slides how to find theta. First let us draw a plane xx that is parallel to this face and let us draw another plane yy that is perpendicular to xx. Let us call that yy plane. If this angle is theta then angle between w and this yy plane is theta. So w is the weight of the ball acting vertically downwards. So reaction at B RB will be perpendicular to this face. So that is drawn here RB. So if this angle is theta 30 degrees, then this angle will be 30 degrees. Similarly, reaction at A, RA is uh, perpendicular to this plane here and that is drawn uh, like this. So if this angle is 30 degrees, then this angle will also be 30 degrees. Now let us resolve forces along xx. So along xx we have sigma fx equal to 0. The component of RA along xx will be RA sin 30 that is written here. The component of RB along xx will be RB sin 30 uh, since both are opposite. So RA sin 30 we have taken positive. Now RB sin 30 we need to take negative. So RA sin 30 minus RB sin 30 uh, weight W is acting vertically downwards. The component of W along xx will be acting towards this direction and this is theta. So um, the component of W along xx will be W sin theta that is minus W sin theta equal to 0. Now this equation will become W sin theta equal to RA sin 30 minus RB sin 30. Let us call that equation 1. Now let us resolve forces along YY plane. So along YY plane we have the component of W along YY will be W cos theta that is acting vertically uh, that is acting uh, downwards along this yy plane. So that is equal to these two forces the vertical component the yy components will be acting upwards. So we have moved to the right rh side of the equation. So the component of ra along yy will be ra cos 30. Similarly component of rb along yy will be rb cos 30. So that is written here. So w cos theta equal to ra cos 30 plus rb cos 30. Let us call that equation 2. Now let us uh, divide equation uh, 1 by equation 2. We get uh, w sin theta by w cos theta equal to ra sin 30 minus rb sin 30 by ra cos 30 plus rb cos 30. Since in the problem rb is given as rb is one third of ra that is rb equal to ra by 3. Uh, let us rearrange this ra equal to 3 rb and w w gets cancelled in this equation and sin theta by cos theta will become tan theta. So tan theta equal to after substituting RA equal to 3 RB this, this side of the equation will become 2 RB sin 30 by 4 RB cos 30. So after simplification we get tan theta equal to 1 by 2 into tan 30 after uh, further evaluation we get theta equal to 16.1 degree. That's all for today's video. If you like this content please like share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.